Hey guys, it's me, Alexa. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an origami fox, an origami box, and an origami heart. So, what you'll need for the fox is one piece of paper. So, let's start. So, I'm going to be using construction paper, orange construction paper, but we need to cut it into a square. So, uh, we're going to fold this edge to this edge over here. Make sure that you have a point when you fold that over. Right here. Okay. Aligning. Then creasing it. And then I'm gonna turn it over, rotate, and then I'm gonna fold this edge up for this edge to align this edge. So, I'm gonna align it perfectly. Try your best. So, we're gonna align it like so. See? Okay, now we're gonna unfold the right triangle. Creases. So if you'll notice that um, there's this crease going through your paper, it's fine because we're going to be using that in our future steps. So I'm going to make a little tear on the crease. Okay. And now I'm going to tear it like so. You could keep this for other origami models. Okay, so since you already have this diagonal crease, you could recrease it if you want. Then unfold, so rotate. And now we're gonna fold this point to the top point for here. So you should align the points like so. Sharply. Okay, unfold. And now you're gonna fold this this edge to the top edge. Basically folding this piece of paper in half. Now unfold and rotate and fold in half in this direction. Okay, so now unfold. So rotate it and you're gonna fold you're gonna fold this point to the middle point in the middle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it with a pencil and we're gonna fold it to the center like so. See to the center. Trace it sharply. Make sure that the point is on the middle point, okay? So now, uh, you're gonna turn over like this so you would have this shape and 
rotate so it's gonna be like an arrow and you're gonna get this edge and since there's a flap the flap should be facing you like an arrow so you're gonna grab this edge and fold it up and we're gonna fold it to the center crease so center right here okay so as you can see um this this edge over here is on the center crease well you could there's this technique where you can just fold it in half like this See, you're gonna fold it in half in the back and you're gonna grab this with the flap swinging out then just aligning it with the edge for a better result so that um, you would have a perfect edge so, yeah that's another technique if you want to do it so there now that you have this you're gonna rotate it so that it's like a Superman logo kind of shape and you're gonna rotate it like this and you're gonna grab this flap and you're gonna fold it up how much well uh, you're gonna grab this edge right here and you're gonna just fold it so that um, this point hits this point over here so so you're gonna grab this point over here and make sure that it lands on when this edge hits this dip right here, over here. So when you hit that, you'll also know when you get it right when um, this, this point over here lands on the middle crease right there. So I'm just gonna crease it. Okay. I'm gonna crease it thoroughly. See? Okay, let me show you. As you can see over here, there's gonna be this point, like this arrow. And another thing is this edge should be aligned with this edge. As you can see, it's covering it like this. So, see? Hope you got that step. And now you're gonna unfold and you're gonna do the same step on this side, but on the opposite side. So... Up over here. Another thing. Um, this edge, whole edge, is aligned to the opposite edge. sharply and you're gonna unfold well another thing is um, you see this like triangle over here it's like you're folding on the corner of the triangle right there okay so now unfold okay this is a pretty tricky part but I hope you get it so there's this pocket over here right and you're gonna grab this pocket um, and you're gonna fold it up. How much? Well, you want this point to be aligned with this top point. So when you fold this over, see it should be aligned like so. I don't know if you see it, but it's right there. Right there, and it's this whole edge is also aligned in the middle crease of the triangle. So place it down, and you're gonna crease. You're gonna um, see, it's gonna be like this, aligned with the triangle, point of the triangle, and you're gonna crease inside right here. And um, whatever you do though, 
So once you've creased this, whatever you do, this flap will keep on standing. So what you will do is just fold it over like this. So here, here it goes again. It was like this, right? You folded that to the point. Okay, so see that you folded it to the point and this keeps on standing up. You're just gonna flatten it like this. See? So now you're gonna take this flap, just the first flap, and you're gonna fold it up so that So that um, it will hit this edge over here. So, see, we're aligning it with the edge. We're creasing it like this. And another thing is that um, this edge will align with this middle crease of your paper. So, see, it hits the middle crease perfectly. So now we're gonna repeat all of that steps to this side this time. So folding it up again. So to the top. See? Bring it to the top and then and then we're gonna just crease this inner part. Over here, see? Creasing it. It's kind of hard to show um, on camera because it's really inside. So now this flaps up, you're just gonna flatten it. As you can see, it's like there's gonna be this letter V, like a dip, you know? And you're just gonna fold it down. See? Basically, you're folding it down like so. Okay, so now we're going to just lift one flap up and same thing, you should make it aligned to the center like so. See? Make sure that there's no gap between the edges. Okay. Okay. Increase sharply. So now you're gonna grab your whole model and fold it in half like this. See? Mountain fold it like a mountain. See? Like this. See? So that it will become one part. So if you're confused, just flip it over, then just fold one edge to the other edge, folding it in half. You could make some creases like this. So now. As you can see that there are one triangle in each of the sides. One triangle here, one triangle here. Specifically a right triangle. So we're gonna grab fir the first layer, basically the first triangle, and you're gonna fold it to this edge meeting this triangle. So as you can see, it's intersecting like so. You're gonna put it in this bit. So. It's going to be folding to here. Right? Okay. So let's fold it over like so. Okay, see? We're going to fold it to the dip. See? I hope you see it. You know the contrast is very bad. but so Then you're going to crease it to the top. See, this is basically the ear. That's why there are two triangles in each of the faces because those are going to be the ears. You have one ear set up. Another thing, as you can see, there's going to be a crease over here. See? And that crease will actually hit this edge over here. See? That's also another sign that you got the step right. When I was learning this model for the first time, I think this was the hardest step that I've ever done. So, yeah. And now you're gonna turn it over on the opposite side. Same thing over here. This point to 
the dip over here. See? I'm gonna fold it to there. See? Okay, let's fold it some more. See? That point is hitting the dip. And another thing. Right here. Okay, we're gonna crease it till the inside. See? Okay, as you can see, this is what it looks from the front. It looks like a bat. So the next step, since there are basically two layers, so there's going to be this pocket right here. So you're going to grab the first, the first edge over here and folding it to this edge over here. So see the fold, the edge. You're gonna grab just the first layer and you're gonna fold it down, see? On the edge, as you can see. See, right here. You're gonna crease it like so. See, again, folding it down. So as you can see, the head is forming and this ear is already flat. That's good. So now we're gonna uh, flip it over while holding on to the other side. Flipping it over. Same thing over here. We're gonna grab um, this and folding it to that edge. So as you can see, the whole fox is starting to form. So we're gonna fold this on the edge. As you can see, if you have this crease over here, you're just gonna pull it. You're gonna tug on it a little bit. So, making sure that there's gonna be a perfect triangle running around over here to here. There shouldn't be an edge that's supposed to be like this, no. So, make sure, double check on the other side. Okay, this is gonna be the head. You could open that up if you want. See? So we're gonna fix our fox later on. So... Yeah. So the next step is to lay your fox down like this. And you're gonna grab this flap. It's just a flap to emphasize the legs. If you're using like a paper that's colored on one side and white on the other. So you're gonna grab this flap and folding it up so that this edge aligns with this edge over here. So see this edge over here where I'm putting my pencil and you're gonna take this edge and fold it so that it will align this. Right here. And crease it. I know there might be this, but it's fine. This like extra edge. It doesn't need to be on the point. So yeah. I'm gonna turn it over. Same thing over here. We're gonna fold it on the edge. You're gonna use the edge as a guide to fold it over. Okay, as you can see. When you crease those, there will be these extra flaps. So you're gonna open the middle pocket and you're gonna fold one triangle in. Same thing here. One triangle in, then creasing it. to flatten it even like this. So if you're using um, colored on one side, white side on the other side, a kind of paper you will have these perfect legs when you let them stand I'll show you later on so now we're almost done so we're gonna fold this edge up right here so that it'll be aligned tracing it sharply unfold and now turn over and you're gonna fold this edge up on using the edge So unfold. Okay, so making sure that your fox is lying down like this. See? The face is on the bottom and like the tail sort of thing is on the top facing like this. So 
it shouldn't be like this because we're gonna open up the tail so that we can do like a sink fold so we're gonna put our fox upside down and you're gonna grab this edge the first one the first flap same thing on the first the other side and we're gonna open it as you can see there will be this pattern of creases inside of your fox so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold you're gonna make sure to pop up this middle crease like this having your hands under and you're gonna pop it up like this see this will make things easier so now you're gonna grab over here making it a valley fold now I'm gonna make this edge a mountain fold I meant so making it a mountain fold same thing over here a mountain fold like a mountain it peaks like a mountain and then you're gonna grab this crease and make it a valley fold so it basically dips like a valley gonna... same thing over here I'm gonna dip this crease okay so now you're gonna combine all of the folds together like this As you can see, I'm gonna raise the camera a little bit. Okay, so now that you have this, you're just gonna combine all of the folds. Basically, it should go zigzag. So, um, mountain, dip, mountain, dip, mountain. So, yeah, it's like a zigzag. And then you're just, once you've got all of that in, and then just squash it all together. So, see? Now just crease it. Okay, this is basically the last step. So, you're gonna grab this tail, the part of the tail, and fold it over like so. It should be on the dip over here. See? It should be on. It's like a valley right here. Go fold it on the dip. See, on the dip, aligning the edges at the same time. And you're gonna crease it. Okay, now, we're gonna fold this tail back up, but making sure that the this edge over here is aligned with this edge like a little fan See? okay so once you have that folded now you're ready to draw on your fox if you want to draw some eyes or nose this fold basically makes your fox stand See? Okay, so I want to put some eyes. This is this step is optional. Okay, so this is the final product. I hope you like this fox. It stands like this. See? This is the view. Just be creative on what you want to put on your fox. So our fox is done. So the next model that I'm going to be teaching you is this origami box. This is specifically called a Masu box. So this needs two pieces of paper. One for the lid and one for the box. Okay, so, so this is... What's inside the box? I put some of my origami models in it. So, you could store stuff. It can be gifts for your friends and family and stuff. So, yeah. So, this model needs two sheets of paper. I'm going to be using construction paper cut square. So, we're going to cut this paper into a square first. We're gonna make the box first. So, 
same method on cutting it as a square. This. Okay, so we're gonna align the edges and trace it once you, you're ready, you've got it all folded. Okay, now we're gonna turn it over like this. Don't worry, this triangular crease or diagonal crease, you're gonna use that later. So you're gonna fold this edge, aligning the other edge. Okay, I'm folding that right triangle in the back. Okay, unfold, making a little tear on the paper like this. So we're gonna tear it now. Okay, so if you like want a cleaner edge, you could just use scissors. So since you have that diagonal fold, holding it up on the existing crease, unfold, and you're gonna fold this edge up, making another diagonal fold. Fold, folding it in half. So what are we doing right now? We're making three creases so that you would have guides from where to crease our model. Okay, so we're making the box. We're gonna make the lid fit perfectly on the box. So what we're doing is a box. Okay, so now we're gonna fold all four corners, one, two, three, four, to the center. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put a little guide mark. Okay, so now we're gonna fold it to the center. And we're gonna fold it to the center now. Okay. So I like to go opposite, opposite sides so that my paper or my folds doesn't get cramped. Okay, I like to unfold so that I could see the mark. Just gonna fold all of them at the same time so you'll have all the flaps inside. So, as you can see, you already have the pre creases so that we don't need to fold anymore. So, now you're gonna fold this edge up to the center crease. So, the other side now. Okay. So, you're gonna unfold. You're gonna see that there are gonna be two triangular flaps up. So, just fold it back down. Rotate and do the same thing. Uh, fold two of the edges to the center crease. edge up ok 
Okay, now unfold. So these two flaps are sticking out. You're just gonna pull them like this. And you'll see a grid. So you're just gonna fold this on the existing crease over here. Fold. Rotate. Then fold. Basically, you're gonna fold it to the center. like this so yeah so hold it like this vertically open it partially and you're gonna go up to here there's gonna be a right triangle underneath that is a square with a diagonal crease and you're gonna push on that diagonal crease making this valley fold making it like a zigzag then just fold it over like so on the existing crease same thing here, right triangle, underneath that is a diagonal crease, start pushing, then fold. Okay, same thing on the other side, right triangle, underneath, a diagonal crease, push on that, same thing, right here. Hope you understand it. Okay, we're gonna, these two arrows together and you're gonna just push it like so see I'm gonna push it so. so the triangle like this one will be at the base the bottom of the box so same thing you're gonna push it on the edge or existing crease and you're done with your base of the box, the main box. So the next one that we're gonna make is the lid. So set this one aside first and grab your other piece of paper. I'm gonna cut it to a square. And again, we're going to use that diagonal crease. Okay, making the tear. Okay, setting aside the extra piece of paper. So now we're going to make the pre creases again. So this. So we have a little, you know, a little different step to make the lid a little bigger than the box to make it fit perfectly. So we're making the pre creases, two diagonals to half. Okay. So now this, in this step, this is where we're gonna differ. So you guys already know that there's gonna be a middle point there, but we're not quite gonna use that. So we're gonna fold all of the four corners to the center, but not quite. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna almost, we're almost gonna put it to the center. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna crease it first so that you will see. We're going to leave about 2 millimeters, depends. So yeah, as you can see, there's going to be a little gap equally on both sides and to the center. Now we're going to repeat it on the other three corners. Another thing is, um, you're gonna make the gaps equal. You could either eyeball it, you could measure it if you want, it depends. 
But I'm just gonna try to eyeball it, you know? Okay, last corner. Okay. So, same thing, you're gonna fold it almost to the center crease. So, we're gonna make it slightly bigger. So, um, I left about a millimeter before the center. So, same thing. Okay. Now you're gonna unfold. These, these triangles are up, them down. Now, do the same steps. Okay. Next, the other side. Okay. Now I'm gonna unfold and the flaps are up. Just pull them apart. Same thing. Folding on the crease. Other side. Folding on the crease as well. And opening it partially like so. Right triangle beneath it, a diagonal crease. And you're gonna push on that diagonal crease to make it a valley fold. Same thing. Uh, right triangle, square with a diagonal crease, push on that diagonal crease. Same thing over here. See, it's already dipped. If you crease it sharply or just normally, it'll just wanna do it itself. So pushing it, you're gonna compress and you're gonna holding it right here. Same thing. Holding it like so. And now you can grab your box and see if it fits. And it should fit perfectly. If you left a little, you know, um, space on the creases, pushing it in. And it's perfectly a box. So when you open it, it should look like this. And when you close it, it should be easy. So you could design your box, you could put some little designs on it to give a, as a gift or to store your needs in it. So, yeah. So the next model that I'm going to show you is this origami heart. It's very easy and simple. So, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make it. So this only needs one sheet of square paper. So you could use pin printer paper cut square if you want, but I'm just going to use a sheet of origami paper. So there are actually two ways to fold it, so I'm going to show you the, the first way. So we're going to fold, uh, diagonally fold it, this point to that point. So. Yeah, cut down, crease it, right here, crease sharply, unfold, rotate, then diagonally fold in half in this direction. This is very simple. You could do this in like, this is, I think this is just six folds, I don't know. So, yeah. So I'm gonna mark the center point of this square. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna fold this at this point to the middle point. Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna rotate should have this like diamond shape and you're gonna fold this to the top in the middle so this I'm gonna put a little map. so we're gonna fold it to that center crease over there so yeah and this is the last step well, kind of. So you're gonna fold this edge up so that this edge will align with the middle crease. Another thing, um, this point over here will land on the top. Like so. You're gonna creasing it. 
Okay, same thing on the other side, folding it up. Okay, it already looks like a heart, but we're gonna do some final touches. So, turn over. And you're gonna fold this edge up so that um, you see this edge, right? This point where this edge ends, you're gonna fold over there. It shouldn't be showing this, just like this. It's a pretty simple fold. Okay, other side. So, when you turn it over, it looks more like heart, but we're gonna fix these points on top. So, we're gonna fold this up to the edge. So, yeah. You can make this in different sizes, like this one, because it's like a lot bigger. This one's a lot smaller. So, I'm gonna show you how to do the second way. It's basically the same steps, but we're gonna differ in one. So if you don't want these like extra creases running through your heart, um, here's what you can do. So, okay, I'm gonna do it in a smaller sheet of paper. So yeah, I'm gonna erase this crease because I'm basically not gonna need it. So yeah. So you're gonna diagonally fold it, but not quite. We're just gonna make a little pinch mark in the center as well as possible but make sure that you can still see it see right there same thing on the other side um you're gonna just pinch okay so now you're just gonna do the same steps you're gonna fold this point to the center okay and since it's there's like no center crease on this one you could just fold it in half and then make a little pinch and that's where you're gonna fold it okay and you could just eyeball it by putting this to the point on top like so same steps already, you could crease thoroughly. Okay, and just get into the shaping. pretty hard to fold it if you have like small paper and you're done so there's no extra creases running through your paper at all and here are all the models that I taught you today we have the iconic fox we have the box over here let's open it so let's put it like this now so that you could see it and last but not the least, we have an origami heart. It doesn't stand, but there. So I'm going to show you every single model that I showed you today. So the first model that I taught you in this video is this origami fox. See? It can stand right here. Hello. Okay, so the second model that I showed you is this origami masu box. When you open it, it's like this. When you close it, it's like this. So the next, I mean the last model is this origami heart perfect for giving it to birthdays and Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like, 
subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!